Morning dudes, hope you're all well. She's back, day three. Uh, just getting all the machines out this morning. Just sort of obviously parked up everything at night. And then we get out what we need to. So today we've got all the bits that we ordered yesterday. So we started on the Ranger 400 that I think we've sold. It was going to have a new steering rack because it was a bit knocky on the old top of the top of the stem with the bushes there. So we've changed those. And then while we were doing it, we thought the rack's a bit old. It's been about 1,600 hours, so I thought we'll change that as well while we're in there. So that's just arrived. Um, let's turn this off. New diesel Ranger. Oh, oh dude, you messed that right up. <laughs> Oops. So this one, just moving on from job to job, it vibrates there. It's like, brrrr. so all we'll do, put a bit of extra tape to space that out. So then that'll put pressure against there. That should, should stop it vibrating. Anyway, we'll do a bit more later on. So catch in a bit, dudes. Another little job. So Kubota, no, it's not a Kubota. It begins with K though. Kawasplatty, uh, Kawasaki Mule 4010. Blowing the main fuse. So we had this machine in Partex for a while and it was blowing the fuse, the main 30 amp fuse. So like crikey, couldn't see an obvious break in the wires, but it was, it seemed to be the alternator, which obviously generates the juice. Um, has had a bit of play for a while. And I'll do this actually. This is the water pump housing, so I think that part, ooh, that part there would be part of that. And then the alternator mounts to that. So I think what's happened is it's come loose. Anyway, I think it's been shortened, so it needs a new water pump housing. This bracket, I think that's snapped as well. Um, we'll maybe get a new alternator just because that's worn away. So, um, yeah, I'm going to talk to Chris at Northstaff ATVs for all your Kawasaki needs. And, uh, yeah, see if we can get this one tuning again. Uh, been about, ooh, when was it been? 2017, I think we got this one. So, yeah, been around a while. Um, yeah, catch you in a bit. Talking of tyres again, this is another little cool tool. So... Remember yesterday, kids, when we were talking about the beads being sealed? That's how we're talking about that seals against the edge of the rim. You have to break the bead to actually get the tire off, and this is called a bead breaker. Available for more good sh bookstores. XP-455 bead breaker. Made of quality Chinese in. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is how it works. So that bit protects the rim, maybe. As best it can. As best it can. And then, it's got a little foot under here. Yes, Davina. Hey, look, that's Davina. This is Ryan. I should explain about who Ryan is. Ryan's the main <laughs> yeah, man. On most of the videos. <laughs> Say again, dude. Right. No, we'll talk later. We'll do a bit of editing there. That's how it works. Look, it pushes it down. Now, I've got to get a new one of these because we put this one in a bit of pain on a alloy. And then Rhino uses his Rhino strength. Look at that. Oh, it's so loud. And then... Be good and look at that and the beat is broken yeah. magical and this is how they come from the supplier god bless them so here we go update on the ranger 400 steering rack it's proving to be is it gonna go let's zoom in george Oh. 
in line with it. Oh, I can't stick it. On. I can put a video. Let me put the camera light on. More breeze. Yeah. God, you're, you're a gentle, a gent and a scholar, and an absolute. Are you YouTubing? YouTubing. YouTubing. Always YouTubing, dude. Really? Tommy, you're on YouTube. Oh, Say hello to the people. Tell the people what you feel. Hello, people. <laughs> this is Thomas. He's our account hello, master. My name's Thomas, and I live in. <laughs> <laughs> and I live in a hole. No, he doesn't. Right, so update on the uh, 400. Focus. So it turns out the aftermarket steering rack has got one tooth less in the gap that the rack slides onto. So we just ground that out. Oh, look at that little cable holder. That's beautiful. Nice little detail. Um, took one groove out on the rack and it slid straight on. Tight as an undertruff. Lovely. Um, so yeah, she's gonna be rocking and rolling by the end of the day. She's had new pads, new, Front gear case output hubs, new front drive shafts, new rod ends, new steering rack, uh, new steering support bushes. There was loads of play in those. Um, it's going to have block off panels, which will stop the crap from going forward now. Crap is the old English word for, you know. Uh, new tyres all round. We've put the 26 inch tyres on it. We've got 26, yeah. 26. 11, 12 inch Amir Khans. Uh, I think it's had a new, oh, it's had a new transmission in the back as well. And new UJs on the prop shaft as well. Back again. So, where are we going? We're going backwards. Quick road trip, taking a bucket or two to Dave. And then to on the road servicing. That's the camera. I'm always looking in the wrong place. Another little job, Kimco Bike 2. She's not gone in about 400 years. New drivetrain, new driven uh, drive sprocket. Every time I put my hand in, it makes this thing out of focus. I'm just gonna... Driven sprocket. Air filter. What are we doing? I think that was it. Oh, it's having a plug cap. Because you won't chooch. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no plug cap in it. <laughs> Tell you what's wrong with it. Ain't, Ain't got, got no, no gas. gas. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, brake pads. Rear shoes. Rear pads. And... Yeah, then she will run again. Oh, yes. She will run again. Hello again, folks. So we're on a final service job of the day, just taking the uh, fuel filter off, which is this bad boy. First uh, one of these is sort of 200 hours, or well, thereabouts, 260, 250 hours, but because they've been so long, they get stuck to the bottom. Rubber on metal, they don't lubricate them when they put them on. This bad boy is an absolute boost for undoing those. So job of the day, uh, tool of the day, that monkey there. Rock and roll.